Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I am here today to share with you my first, first, first time playing with Kathy Orta King's Paper Phenomenon P3 tape. Um, so far, it's amazing. I'm gonna keep these little strips. Um, this is just the backing off the tape because as you guys saw in a previous project, I bought cloth tape here. I'm in a different country right now. And um, it does not have the backings like this does. Um, it's just sticky tape. But here is the amazing P3 tape. You get it from paperphenomenon.com. And it is like, it's like ribbon. It's like adhesive ribbon almost. But it's a tape, it's an adhesive, right? Isn't that cool? Um, so this is my first time playing with it. I absolutely love it. The texture of it is gorgeous. It looks like fabric, like I was saying. Um, it is easy to work with. You can put it in your paper trimmer and cut how much you need because it has the backing on it. So you're not fighting with it like I was the other tape. So um, I did watch Tips and Tricks, not all of them, because I want to just show you a little thing that... Um, I did that, I, I don't know if it's wrong, but it's not the way Kathy did it, okay? So I went ahead and cut my, my chipboard's five by seven. So I cut two pieces at seven inches. Then I was like, I shouldn't have done that because Kathy wants you to do the whole length of not just your chipboard, but where your tape was too. So I didn't do that. So my corners are open. So I hope that doesn't mess with anything. I don't think so but I mean it's fine okay I did wash the tips and tricks on the paper so she said pull it tight and adhere the middle come over to the left pull it tight on the corner put that down pull and stick pull and stick pull and stick because you want your quote unquote kink um, over here in your binding system and not here like I just did. Because I did not stick properly. Oh gosh. Okay, I did the other side perfectly, of course, because I didn't have the camera on. There we go. So see, like there's a little kink. You want that. So now all you have to do is push bend and stick no kinks here perfect perfect come over here to your right side pull and stick this time i was smart i kept my fingers under here so it doesn't premature stick pull and stick pull and stick pull and stick and pull Oh my gosh, this one I did again. Okay, I wasn't pulling. I was just sticking. Okay, pull and stick and crease and up. Voila. No kinks. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I have a little bit of overhang that I'm going to cut off. Um, like I said, this part, I didn't um, follow the instructions exactly, <laughs> so yeah, but I don't want to waste my tape, so I'm just going to have to do it this way, because she had a gorgeous mitered corner, and I'm thinking I can just miter, oh, that's too short. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm going to do this side. I'm thinking I can just miter my corner and have that same look. Not that it matters because it's going to get covered by paper anyway. But I'm experimenting right now, so if this doesn't work, it's my fault. 100% on me. So I just mitered my corners and pull and Okay, that still worked out. My edges are covered. That's perfect. 
Okay, so not all is lost. Now my other side, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I cut it too short. I don't know how I did that because I did it on the paper trimmer. All right, I have this tiny little piece of overhang that I just, it's annoying me. Okay, all right. I did not pull and stick very well. Oh, can I take this off? Okay. All right, this is what she was saying. The most important part is to pull this tape tight on your edge. I didn't do it the first time and there was a big old bubble. Okay, all right. This album is just for me, so um, you know, I don't care if there's imperfections on it. The next album is not going to be for me, and I'm definitely going to care if there's imperfections. All right, I can't do this. I have to cut this piece because I don't want my corner. Oh, I have to waste a whole piece of tape. I don't want my corner looking jank. It's going to bother me. All right, so let me get a piece um, that is by seven. I thought this would help out anyone who is trying this for the first time because obviously this is my first time trying it. Okay, I put my tie back down. That's also another Kathy thing. Oh, that just feels so. If you are a um, texture person, this feels amazing. All right, let's see here. All right, we're gonna fold this tape. Okay. So what I learned by putting the other pieces down, um, <laughs> you may wanna do your little corner first with the backing still on or else you're gonna be sitting there like fooling with it forever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it here. No, I need less. Than that. Okay. Just stick that little piece and then make sure it's straight and take the rest off. Um, yeah, that's so much easier. Obviously, when you get used to it, um, you're going to be like Kathy approach. She can just take all the backs off, stick them all down perfectly the first time, and you are good to go. But that is not the case for me. I This is my first time. And so, um, yeah, I'm taking my time. Okay. So now I need to pull and stick. Pull and stick. And pull and stick. Okay. Perfect. Guys. And I think, um, I want to say Kathy did her tape on her spine um, and not the tie back, but I had already put tie back down and then I remembered, oh, my P3 tape, let me play with it. So I used tie back. You can put your P3 tape here as well, but I don't think I need it because this, this ain't going nowhere. This is a sturdy cover. You don't have to use... Um, cardstock now I can just mat it and call it done so this is the part that she was talking about if you don't pull tight enough look see how it's uneven it's not a straight line it's because I did not pull tight enough so I wonder if I can lift a little and pull that maybe or it's just gonna have a little bubble at the top because I did not pull tight enough there it goes. Okay, so I was able to pull it. And now let me re... Oh my God, that was so satisfying. When that bubble like popped down, that was great. Okay, so I do have a little bit of creasing, but that's my fault. So um, it's not anywhere it's going to... Oh, now it's gone. There you go. Okay, I was gonna say, it's not anywhere where it's going to show where I had a little kink in there. Um, cause I'm going to mat over it. 
okay, I'm so happy with this and it feels super sturdy. Um, mine was a little fail. I didn't, I put too much on the inside than the outside um, on this corner, but that's okay because I'm only going to leave an eighth of an inch border. So be mindful of that. <laughs> that was a huge fail on my part. That's okay. I can cover that up. All right. So P3 tape. Excellent. Take away from this video, pull, pull, pull tight. Definitely watch the tips and tricks. Um, so that way you know what you're doing and you don't mess up. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks, 330 already.